Good morning, everyone. I just got out of a Pilates class. I found this place. It's called Smart Bar and Pilates on the Mind Body app. It's like a local, not a local, I think it's like in every state city. But you can find workout classes that aren't at a specific, like you don't have to have a membership to go to them. You can do drop ins. They usually have like a first class pass offer. This one was $10 for your first Pilates class, and then the bar class is free for your first one. And let me tell you, y'all know I went to Club Pilates. That's kind of where I got into Reformer Pilates. And then I've also been taking Matt Pilates at, I always forget the name of this place, but this Pilates class, this Reformer Pilates, it's called Smart Former, was the hardest Reformer Pilates, Pilates mat, any type of Pilates class I've ever taken in my life. I honestly thought I was gonna pass out. Like I honestly thought I was gonna pass out. And y'all know I work out, I work out almost every day. Either I'm doing Pilates, an actual gym workout, like lifting weights and squat and doing all the glute stuff. So it's not like I've been out of the gym or working out for a while, but this class was so hard. I mean, I thought I was gonna pass out. It felt longer than 45 minutes. I thought I was gonna throw up too. It was just... And it's Monday morning, like such a great way. I mean, I'm gonna love myself later on today after I get over this like, you almost died feeling. <laughs> I'm gonna be so glad I got my butt up and went because it was 8.30 to 9.15, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna die. Like I had to wrap my hair up because I was sweating and it started to frizz. It was just, yeah. That was so intense. I, wow. So happy Monday. This is how we're starting off the day. Monday is like my busiest day because I like to do all of my work, not all of it, but I like to get a good chunk of my work for the week done on Mondays. If you're new to the channel, I am in digital marketing. I work from home. I basically do all the fun digital marketing things. I manage social media accounts. I create and manage ad campaigns. So like Facebook ads, uh, Google ads, Instagram ads, things like that. And, and then I also build websites and then I also manage those websites. So any updates to packages, services, classes, things like that, I'll do the updates. And then of course I build the websites that I manage. But anyway, I'm tired. Oh, and I got this cup yesterday. I didn't vlog yesterday, but I finally got a smaller cup for the car. It's the Reduce I forgot the actual name of this. I think it's just a tumbler. This is the Reduce 24 ounce tumbler in black. It's like Phantom. Got it from Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's like this matte black color. I got it in black instead of the sand because I have the 40 ounce in sand. And instead of getting a 24 ounce in sand, I decided to get black because I thought black would match the car better. Yesterday I went to Williams Sonoma and I picked up these little working glasses. That's what they're called. I'll link them down below too. This is like the 12 ounce one and it comes with the lid. I like them because they look like the cups that I got from Target, but they're so much thicker and they come with the lid. So I can use this for just drinking juices, my collagen powder and orange juice, sweet tea, water. And I could also make things in here because it has the lid so I can make chia seed pudding, overnight oats, things like that. And this is the 12 ounce one. They also had, I think this is 21 ounces. Yeah, I think that's, no, I think that's 14 ounces, 21, and they had a 24 online, but I didn't see it in store. And these were the only two left in store too, and I definitely wanna get more. Here's the other one. I feel like this would be cute too for pickling if you wanted to pickle anything that you grow at home. 
or if you just want to buy like cucumbers and make your own pickles, pickled onions, things like that. But I thought they were so nice and again, they're like so much thicker than these ones that I got from Target. So I think I might return these, honestly. They're cute, but I don't really need like two different because I do plan on buying more of these ones. They're out of stock in store, but they had some online and I'd rather just have a bunch of these since they have the lids and they're just about the same price. These were $3.95, these were three. So for an extra 95 cents, I get the lid. So I thought that was nice. So at Williams Sonoma, I got this cookbook. It's a cookbook season again. It's called The Breakfast Bible. I quickly scanned through it in the store and it looked so perfect just for quick and easy breakfasts. <laughs> I didn't see like a long list of ingredients for each thing, which is really nice. And it looked very practical because I find that sometimes cookbooks, they have all these great recipes, but you can't find any of the ingredients anywhere. So it's like, okay, I can't make this. That's the problem I ran into with the Jamie Oliver five ingredient cookbook. It was like five ingredients. It didn't count seasonings, but seasonings, you always kind of have your favorites, but you couldn't find some of the ingredients like anywhere. And I also pulled out my Super Simple by Half-Baked Harvest. I figured this would be such a nice cookbook to have out on the counter and just accessible as it turns into fall because I feel like a lot of these recipes are very fall friendly. Soups, skillets, things like that. Yeah, I'm really excited. I love fall times. Even though it's still burning hot here, it just feels like it's starting to be fall and I just love it. And then here's my little setup over here too. I just have my wines on the counter with my kettle and then I have the basket here. My wine in there, I have my kettle and then over here I have my Lodge cast iron skillet which I'll link down below for you guys. Love this thing. This is like a five and a half quart. I have my coffee press here and it's the insulated one I got from Sir La Table. It's supposed to keep your coffee hot for a little bit of time longer than a regular coffee press which I still have my other one. I just have it down below in the cabinet here. Then I have my frother and then my little cream container from the Magnolia Hearth and Hand at Target. They used to have the salt cellar and the pepper cellar and I kind of wish I got those forever ago because I feel like it would look really nice like stacked over here but I missed out on it and I don't think they sell them anymore. And then I have my Nespresso which I've had for the longest time. Over here I have these I just kind of have out because I just got them and I think they're cute. But here I have these three ball mason jars, 64 ounce. Here I have my pancake mix. And then here I have my collagen powder, which I drink every day and my orange juice. And then I have my jasmine rice. I just love it. I feel like it looks very homey and cozy, honestly. Even though it's not super fall, like it's not super orange and pumpkin-y, it gives me fall vibes. <laughs> I, I think it's very cute and I don't know, I love it. I love this little cozy, cozy vibe I'm trying to work with for the fall time, even though my apartment's fairly like modern <laughs> with the kind of look of it. Good morning everyone, it's Tuesday morning and I'm about to get dressed. I already did my skincare and my brows. I've been doing my brows with the clear brow gel from e.l.f. and then I've also been taking the e.l.f. brown mascara and lightly going over it so it looks all thick and full. I was mentioning that the little eyebrow serum that I use at night, I feel like it's helping because even without the brown mascara, I feel like it's looking a little thicker. But anyway, we are about to get dressed because I'm going to Williams Sonoma. I went the other day and I showed you guys the little working glasses that I got in 21 ounces and 14. I just called because I got the last one of each one in store. I called and they restocked four of the 14. So I'm gonna go buy them. I think I want six total for each size, like six 14 and then six 21. So I think I'll just keep waiting it out because I could order them online but they don't have free shipping. They have like shipping that goes up based on the price of the order, which CB2, Crate and Barrel all have like that system. And I'm like, I don't appreciate that. I hate paying for shipping. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in store because William Sonoma is like, it's actually right next to Whole Foods. So, and I do need tortilla chips because the guac or the avocados that I have are all kind of ripe and I wanna make guacamole just because I'm not really feeling the sourdough. I'm not, don't think I'm really a sourdough person. So I don't really wanna do avocado toast with that sourdough. And I don't really feel like buying like French bread. So I might as well get tortilla chips and then make some guacamole tonight as like a pre-dinner snack or just after dinner snack. And I am marinating some chicken wings in that honey garlic marinade. So, so we got a lot of like kitchen cooking stuff, which I'll probably film with you guys. I feel like, like I said, as fall comes, because it's definitely not fall yet, but as fall comes, I feel like I'm more motivated to cook and just, oh, I'm just so excited. You guys have no idea. You probably do, because I keep talking about it. But yeah, so we're gonna get dressed. We're gonna go to William Sonoma and grab those four. I did call and she said she'll hold them for me. So I'm like, 
thank you so much you're awesome because i'm so scared i'll get there and they're like off or like gone because they're even like back ordered online i think one of the sizes and i'm going to return the target glasses that i got because they're basically the same thing except the working glasses are thicker like much thicker glass and they come with the lid so you can use them to drink with you can use them to make sauces i do need to make some hollandaise sauce this not this week next week because i'm going to do one of the breakfasts from the cookbook that i got from william sonoma too and it needs hollandaise and it has a recipe for making your own so i'm definitely going to do that so that'll be fun to film next week i do have a meeting at two it's two o'clock my time the meeting it's one o'clock mountain time two o'clock central time so i need to be home before 1 30 or by 1 30 because i like to have some time to prep and just shut my face a little bit so because i think it's camera on and if it's not, I just, I'd rather be prepared rather than it's camera on and I just look. Yesterday I went to Smart Bar. It's not new in general, but it's new to me. It's like a bar and Pilates studio. And I think they have like a random yoga class. I went to their Smart Reformer or Smart Former Power Pilates class yesterday at like 8.30. Kicked my butt. I mean, I'm sore. I'm sore. I've been doing, you know, club Pilates. I do the reformer Pilates every so often. That one I took yesterday at Smart Bar was the hardest, hardest reformer Pilates class and even Matt Pilates class I've ever taken. I mean, it was high intensity, which I did not read the description first. It does say high intensity. Insane. Like during the workout, it was 45 minutes. I thought I was going to pass out. Like I thought I was going to throw up and pass out the entire time. Like, I kept, I kind of, like, looked around the room, like, peripheral, like, there's no way. Like, I know this is my first time, and I know, like, the other girls in the class, because it's all women, probably took this class a few more times. But I was like, there's no way. Someone else is not dying. I thought I was legitimately going to throw up and pass out. And the funny thing is, during the workout, I was like, I'm never doing this again. I cannot believe it. And I was like, if I leave early, <laughs> I was considering, like, leaving early. <laughs> And just like walking straight past the receptionist who was so nice and she was like I'm gonna check in after your class see how it went I was so tempted to just walk out of the room walk out of the lobby and get in my car and just never come back but I stayed and the funny thing is I woke up this morning and I was like should I take another class I, I kind of like it they have a special going on it's like two weeks unlimited classes for $60 and I'm like I don't want to do that even though I thought I was gonna die during the class I feel good today let me turn down my music so we don't get copyrighted okay guys I'm at Target and I'm doing the return via drive up which I think is really stinging and cool that they do this now I feel like it also stops you from walking past the dollar spot and being bad or at least me but let me pause the song because I actually want to listen to it when I'm driving. But bad news, I got a call back from William Sonoma and they said they don't actually have the working glasses in stock. They thought they did. Um, the inventory said they had four left, but when she went to go check, there was none. So I think I might have to just order them online and just pay the shipping. I think it's like $15. And my total is like $35. I'm like, why am I paying? If it was like up to, f if it was like 50 plus free shipping, I could, I could do that. But I'm like, oh. Oh, <laughs> but I think I'm going to end up having to ship them, which is fine because I would hate for them to go out of stock online too because they're out of stock here. They have them at CB2 too, but we don't have one here in San Antonio. The next one or the nearest one is Austin, and I'm not driving to Austin just to get. Granted though, that is something I would do. That That is definitely in my wheelhouse of things I would do. I just don't feel like it. It doesn't seem, especially not today. I don't have time today. And I just, not in this heat. Not in, not in, not in. Oh, here they are. Hi. What are you, oh, you just scanned my phone? Uh, no, I'll just have to scan the stuff in there. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. So I got those returned. That was really easy. That was really nice. So I got that. And I would hate for them to have to, like, do that, but... Okay, so, let's run... Okay, this person's driving. People... Texas drivers, man. I just... But let's run to Ross really fast. I'm back. 
back from everywhere and I did my face before I left just in case I got home a little bit closer to two than I planned on but I do want to like powder a little bit I have a feeling it's a fun meeting because I just looked at the meeting invite and there's no link and it just has like the like call in thing so I'm like I went to Target for the returns Ross to just have a look around then I went to Michael's which was right next to Whole Foods just because I was like what fall stuff do they have out <laughs> but so at Ross I did get a car steering wheel I think I showed y'all it did not fit so I sat in the parking lot and tried to do it it didn't work so I just returned it right then and there I have to measure my steering wheel and I guess just order one from Amazon like I knew that steering wheels were all different sizes but I didn't think that they really were in terms of like big difference but apparently they are so I returned that and then I got a I got a waffle maker guys it's from Dash I honestly thought Dash made like only really minis but they have a regular size express waffle maker it's an 8 inch and it's just in black and I have been wanting a waffle maker and this one was $14.99 so I was like okay it was like the last one there and they had a few other Dash products so I was like this is speaking to me so I got a waffle maker which is cute because some of the recipes in the breakfast cookbook that I got are like waffles with different toppings and I'm like I can do chicken and waffles, little raspberry one. Last night for an after dinner snack, I made regular pancakes, but I used the pumpkin spice, like the oat milk pumpkin spice whipped cream as a topping and so good. Then I went to Michael's and I got two candles cause it was like two for $7.99 and I just figured why not, let's try them. I got hot buttered rum. I only got two just to see how they burn. If they're really good, then I'll just go back and get a couple more for everywhere because I have one in the bedroom, the bathroom, the living room, and the kitchen. So just four candles. And then I have little like air freshener things that spurt air throughout the place, like by the cat's litter in the bathroom. Then we went to Whole Foods for tortilla chips. These are like my favorite tortilla chips. I do like the Target organic ones, like the white corn, but these ones are so, so good. These are like my favorite to get, but they were all kind of like a little messed up today. So I got the one that looked the best because I do want to make guacamole. I always make my own guacamole. Sometimes I'll buy it, but I just feel like my guacamole is just amazing. And it's super simple. It's just how I season it. So with that being said, I lost my mind because these were on sale. A parfait jars. This is the 350 ml, so I think like 11 ounces. Look at this. I was originally planning on using like these jars for things like that, but I think these ones are better suited because they actually look like the container that you would put salsa, guacamole, peanut butter in, and it screws on, screws off, it's glass. So since I couldn't get more of these, I'll still keep my eye out for these, but I don't think I'll order them online. I'll just wait until William Sonoma restocks and I'll probably just get enough to be like a drinkware set rather than for stuff that I thought it would be like making my own guac, um, jam, because I do want to make strawberry jam. There's a recipe in the book too, and things like that. I'll just use these ones for cups and it's nice that they have a lid. I mean, if I wanted to, if I wasn't finished with the drink and I want to save it, I could throw the lid on. But I think these ones that I got are better suited for the things that I was trying to make at home. Then I got these. I got four of these. You're just on two of them right now. I think 25 ounce ones, same thing. And then they also have a 32 ounce. They had three left or, well, three out front because they only had one of these left, but they ended up having a bunch more in the back. So I asked and they were very nice. They went and got them for me. I was thinking I could put my coffee grounds in, but I was like, you know what? Let's just get the stuff that I have for making things. So I got four of each. And honestly, I kind of want to, like I said, I'm gonna make guac today in one of these. I was thinking about making salsa too, but I only have two tomatoes. So it would be like a very small portion of salsa. And I didn't get jalapenos, because I was like 50-50 and I just wasn't sure, but. It's 158. Let me jump on my call, or at least grab my phone. Where is my phone?
I am so sad. I was going to make pumpkin spice waffles with y'all in the morning, but this stopped working. I took off the nozzle, tried cleaning it, and there's like so much left. I only used it like twice and I can't get it out. That's the one thing about whipped cream, like you can't get it out if the can stops working. So yeah, I could go to Target tomorrow and get another one just for the sake of filming, but I'm not sure yet because I brought down my spices. I believe this is pumpkin spice and then cinnamon or vice versa. I always have to sniff it first, but I was going to legitimately do pumpkin spice waffles. Just have my pancake mix and mix in some pumpkin pie spice and then make waffles and then top it with this. I mean, I still could just without this, but I wanted it to be super pumpkin spicy. So maybe I'll just save that for another vlog when I have another one of these. I just don't really feel like going out tomorrow, honestly. I kinda wanna just go to the gym, hang out at home. Right now I'm heating up the oven. I'm gonna do it at 375. We're gonna make the honey garlic wings. They've been marinating for 24 hours. Yeah, <laughs> they've been marinating for 24 hours, so they should be really, really good. Really, really seasoned. I did season it a little bit more with, not salt, but pepper, chili, and creole, just a tad bit. And then what I'm gonna do is get my pan out, or maybe I'll do it in my cast iron skillet, actually. Yeah, actually, I think I'll cook them in my cast iron skillet. This cabinet is like a crapshoot. There we go. I think I'll do, yeah, I think that'll actually be really good. Just doing it in my cast iron skillet and then baking it for probably 30, 35, 40 minutes. We'll see, I kind of just touch and go. But yeah, this is what we're gonna do here in a bit. I'm just waiting for this to preheat. And then I also need to kind of clear up the island because the island kind of is mishmash. I was over there eating my guac and chips and I think Bubby, yeah, my Bubby's there. Hi Bubby, are you napping? Oh yeah, you were. I need to kind of clean up this area and throw these in my trunk because I keep forgetting to return the glass jars every time I pass Central Market and I need to return these because I'm just accumulating these ones that I'm not using. The other ones, the 32 ounce ones I've been reusing, kind of, those ones I won't return, but these big ones, yeah, I need to return them. I'm also gonna cut this zucchini up, but kind of make them like little zucchini fries. I don't have breadcrumbs. I only have sourdough, but I don't have a blender to chop it all up. And I don't know if I've ever said that, but my blender had to be thrown away. Long story, something got blended that shouldn't have, and I didn't realize it until it was, yeah, I thought it was just making a weird noise. And I just haven't gotten a blender since, honestly, I probably need to, but yeah, so I don't have like breadcrumbs to make this into like actual fries, but I think I can just cut them into fries and just pretend healthy fries. Mm -hmm. 